Sweet, Steve got a new Dragon Ball figure. My favorite kind of Dragon Ball figure, if you know what I'm saying. Still kind of weird that Steve got the Chi-Chi in the kids' armor outfit. Did somebody say kids? I mean, armor? Totally meant to say armor. Oh, hey, Space G. No, I mean it's adult Chi-Chi in her old armor. Oh, and I've lost interest. All right, well, suit yourself. That just leaves more Chi-Chi for me. Hey, we're just looking super important views. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today we're going to be going over the Mega House Dragon Ball Gals Chi Chi armored version. Uh, this is her wearing the armor akin to her as a kid from Dragon Ball. Hold up. Hold up. We can't do this, Steve. We're not. We're not we can't. All right. Every, every time I see this armor, all I think was a little Chi Chi with a little. Oh, that they also made a figure of in the Dragon Ball Gals, which is. Okay, you gotta be have a certain acquired taste <laughs> in order to have that one. Which I'm not gonna judge people, right? Like if you you bought it, you bought it. Like it's available. You you do you, man. Uh, but for me, this would be like what I prefer to see. Uh, but the main reason I got this is because you can kind of guess, right? Oh no, the pose looks amazing. The figure looks amazing. It's just like the armor itself when you see it. Like the armor harkens back to yes. a darker time. Yeah. Which I do get, but then again, it's also like... I don't hate the way the armor looks, but it was like... But I hated her wearing it from back then. So this is like... Kind of redemption. I guess is the best way I can say it. I don't know, it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel sad at the Cause same time. Because it, it lets me have this version of Chi Chi without feeling like a creeper. <laughs> right? I feel like, like, a creeper. like, I could have this displayed and my friends could come over and I don't have to explain things, right? Like, it's just like, oh, it's a hot chick in some skimpy armor. All right, cool. We're moving on from this conversation. Unless there's a fan and they know who and what she is, and then it's like. Ugh. And then they probably bought this too, right? <laughs> like, I'm just helping them sell figures. So, anyways, uh, decided to grab this. Now, you also might be asking yourself why I buy this over, say, like, I sold majority of my SH figure arts Dragon Ball Z figures, but I still buy these. They got boobies. Yeah, he said it best. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I like, I'm, like, to me, I always liked the girls in Dragon Ball, in Dragon Ball Z. Like, that was, like, who would you have rather had a poster of on your shelf? Android 18 or, like, Android 17. Or say, yeah, Android 17. Which one would you prefer? Android 18, right? And if you could find, like, any of these girls in, like, a bikini and you have the poster, like, I'd, I would much rather have that than random Super Saiyan Goku. It's like, hey, who would you rather have? Bulma holding two Dragon Balls or Goku holding two Dragon Balls? I don't know. <laughs> you decide. So, like, to me, heavy stuff, like, displayed, like, I do like most of the male characters better, but... Display purposes, I would much rather have the females. And to be fair, I still like a lot of the characters in the series as well. Easily some of my favorites. So, works out pretty well. But anyways, without further ado, for her packaging, uh, fairly standard fare from what we've seen with some of the other Mega Houses we've gone over. With the stars in the background, you get an image of her, or like a very nice image of her on the front. Chi-Chi armor version. Side of the package, just some more angled shots. I appreciate it. Also, you can see that the helmet is removable. Opposite uh, side, there's a nice big shot back of the package. More small. Oh, <laughs> Look at all those shots, man. Some stuff I can't understand. Some legal mumbo jumbo and more. Oh, you the got her upside down. Yo, her helmet's going to fall off. <laughs> you know, it took me a second. I was like, wait, how the hell is the box upside? Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. Um, I'm tired. Anyways, let's get her open up out of her cardboard prison. All right, so now we got Chi-Chi open up out of her cardboard prison. Uh, first and foremost, we have her giant display stand. The biggest one probably so far. Yeah, easily the biggest, because I'm only missing a couple. <laughs> and I don't think anybody else has a pose quite like her. But what you get here is the giant Dragon Ball on the bottom. So this is not technically from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and you also have the Capsule Corp logo inside of the plastic. Well, technically it's grooved on the bottom here. But it's kind of irrelevant. But pretty cool. I always like these stands. Like, like, I kind of wish they had a little more color, but I appreciate they at least uh, have the Dragon Ball part in there, although it's a little scuffed right there. Like the paint isn't quite as clean. All right, so attaching here to the stand, you're going to want to have it set up like this where the two pegs go into the right leg and the one peg into the left. Easier said than done. On a high note, 
compared to like um I haven't really had too many problems with the stands outside of the one um the Android 18, the newest one. She uh didn't like to stay on her stand very well. But here she is posed on her stand. Now, uh, I guess we'll show you guys the head currently, and then we're going to figure out how to get the helmet on, because I have no idea. Didn't come with the instructions. But for the head sculpt, looks freaking fantastic. As you guys can see, you definitely have that more warrior chichi expression with her slightly looking angry and about to kick someone's butt, which is why she's wearing battle armor. It's for fluid movements, so she's not restricted. In combat. Uh, no, it is a common sense in any video game anime. The less armor you have, the more power protection you provide yourself. So this is how she beats Goku. She's unstoppable. In <laughs> well, there is one more thing she can escalate <laughs> into Ultra Instinct. Touche. Just, it just kind of flo just, flies just, off of her. Exactly. But you can see there's a little bit of a seam line here for where the hair attached to the head, but it's nothing too major. But it is a little bit noticeable. Uh, maybe we'd like to see that cleaned up a little bit because on like regular action figures, it's more forgivable because, of course, like I got to pop that off to swap it out. Yeah. And again, she's probably, for the most part, if you're buying this, you're probably going to have her wear the helmet. So it's give and take. But it is a thing that's noticeable. So when they, they give you the option, they should probably clean that up also it looks like like her hair's kind of got like a metallic silver thing going on the back oh don't worry steve you'll fix that when you put the helmet on no i mean like right here oh it looks weird without the helmet dude just put it back <laughs> i haven't even put it on yet but as you can see the hair reflects a little bit on the back but i do like the way it flows looks cool it's not very realistic to be fair because the way the wind would be blowing you think it'd be like flaking upwards Instead of it coming down. But it is a nice dynamic pose. Not going to really complain. You can definitely tell here on the bangs. That there's a little bit of silver on the end. Which kind of makes me feel like she's a little older. Right? It kind of... Um, gray hair? Yeah, like a little bit of gray to it. So like almost like... I guess like Cell Saga. Like like super Chi-Chi. Like she's... Oh, she's going to beat Cell. This is like her in her 40s, which... Hey, don't forget. Cell has good some for you. in him too. <laughs> <laughs> so does she but anyways all right so our next save the day you have to pop this off and then this can come out because we're like this is like this don't move oh, and it's coming more undone than i want it to all right help help <laughs> uh i think oh it's got the clicky thing and it just damn there you yeah go. there we go all right so you have to pop this out get it on her head Close the thing. This should have came with instructions. I don't know why it didn't. I said, for once we need instructions. What the yeah, heck, man? Like, how does this close over her veins? <laughs> Things I need to know. Maybe. 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 Now she looks like Mega Man. I think we're good. We're going to put this back on. Whew. All right, no, cool. Doesn't look that bad. <laughs> so, didn't waste $100. Good job, boss. See, this is why I have you here, Arnaz. Hey, I keep telling myself I'm good for something. So briefly, we'll go over the rest of her details, even though there isn't really much, because she's not wearing a whole lot. Uh, but the armor does look nice. The top section is painted very well, as you can see with the um, the breastplate. I'm going to call it a breastplate. But <laughs> that's painted very nicely in this metallic dark... Almost, is that like a purple to you? It's It's like purple pink mix for sure. Yeah, well, you got, like, the pink helmet. You got the purple there for the straps. Shoulder pads painted very nicely as well. You have her pink gloves, which has, like, this little... It's, like, almost like an underglove underneath, which is weird. She's wearing gloves for her gloves and socks for her shoes, man. Right? Or maybe it's just, like, I don't know, like, to add a little extra. Because, yeah, like, she actually has socks on. And the same color for her shoes. Which looks nice. You get a little bit of different tones of pinks throughout the boots. On a high note, her feet don't look like they're horribly out of place. Because sometimes on these anime statues, like, the way they're posed... Super exaggerated. Yeah. Well, her, like... This is reasonable. It's crazy, but it's reasonable. 
<laughs> uh, same with the cape on the back here is done in this aqua and teal color, which it's pretty flimsy. Like I'm not gonna say flimsy plastic, but it's at that flaws will break. Yeah, it's a uh, not the thickest though. Like this isn't gonna take too much to snap, so definitely be careful with her. Uh, I don't really, I don't feel like I need to state this, but like make sure to have her on the stand and somewhere where she isn't gonna be prone to falling off. Uh, because this is a review, we're going to have to go over this section, but you can see for the back strap looks nice too, coming on the back. Plus you get a lot of muscle definition with her, uh, the back of her shoulder plates. You can go into that detail. Steve. As you can see, same with her butt, which is to me a little weird, at least like right there for like the highlighting around there. It looks weird. Playing out, it looks weird. It does look a little odd. Like, maybe it's because of, like, she's more muscular. But, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I guess it's fine. Like, when you look at it from the side, like, that looks normal. Like, this side, that looks normal. It's just, like, that one angle is just kind of weird. But, I, I think, to me, like, if it wasn't highlighted so much, it wouldn't be so bad. But, the rest of her legs look really nice as well. Get a little bit of shadowing in certain sections. Same with the, I guess, panties. Because, like, the top's like armor, but then she just has, like, the bottom of a bikini. Yeah, it makes <laughs> zero sense. Going on. But done in the same metallic purple. Uh, the only thing is, it's like the paint right thing in the way. It's hard, but it, it is there, you guys. It, right here could have been cleaner. Uh, it won't take much to fix, clean that up, but straight out of the package, it doesn't look that great. Uh, but that's really the only section I would say the paint is on the sloppier side. But everything else looks awesome. Uh, compared to some of the other Mega Houses, pretty happy with this. Because for the most part, Mega Houses, like, I've never really had an issue looking at them in terms of detail. It's just always like, they're super exaggerated, so you go with it, and that's really where the mold is. Uh, but her... The issue mainly seems that she has that one paint seam. So it kind of gives her a knock compared to some of the other ones. And then finally, uh, no articulation. It's a statue. So, sorry? Not sorry? Yeah. And for quick comparisons here, we have the Mega House Chi-Chi in armor compared next to some other Dragon Ball Mega House figures with Chi-Chi in the China dress and Bulma in the Arabian outfit. And here she is next to some Dragon Ball Z Mega House figures with the third version of Android 18 and the Battle Damage of Adele. And here she is with some SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures with Master Roshi and Bulma. And here she is with some other random anime statues with the Paltra Kana from Ms. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and the X Plus Chiho from Devil is a Part-Timer. And here she is with some more classic characters that are a little overtly sexualized with the Horobu Shoujo's, Kotobukiya's, Jason, and Freddy. So overall for the Mega House, Chi-Chi in armor, what do you think about it? Uh, it's definitely my top three Mega Houses. Um, I'm trying to think, because like most of the other Mega Houses haven't really had any paint issues. Well, I'm talking about like the pose, like the mold itself, you know? Yeah, like in terms of like the, po the, like the mold and everything, this is, uh, this is actually probably my favorite. Like, I really like the other Chi-Chi, too, which is odd, because out of all the girls they've made, Chi-Chi's probably my least favorite. Yeah. Like, I like Bulma better. I like Android 18. Even Launch, to a certain extent. But, like, the Chi-Chi in a China dress was awesome with the way the dress flowed and everything. And this kind of conveys the same thing. Chi-Chi has really cool dynamic poses whenever they do her figures. But it's just, like, that one little pink hiccup and some of, like, the muscle definition's a little weird. But for the most part, like, the way you're going to have her standing on your shelf anyways, you're never going to see it. So, for me, I definitely recommend her. Though, I will say that for being a Mega House figure, she's a bit of a shelf hog. Yeah, it's the cape, man. It's the yeah, pose and yeah, the cape. Yeah, it's the pose and the cape you're going to have to worry about. You just, you just got to get smaller figures, put them underneath the cape in the back of her. Uh, no, no what's perfect is I'm pretty sure Master Oshi could fit under that cape. Exactly. <laughs> so, we got a plan already. So, yeah, if you guys are hesitant at picking this up, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I would import it, though. I don't know about picking it up stateside. Stateside, she's a little expensive. You can get, you can definitely import her a little bit cheaper. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up this Chi-Chi, what's your favorite Mega House figure is? Do just more thing. Please let us know in the comments. Look closer picture of this guy on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account exclusive prints for the channel and also t-shirts now down in the description as well. 
and help us defeat those cartridges by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.